Hi everyone, so this is the continuation of the part one of the mummy dress. So now I have um, joined my darts. Now I'm going to join the front to the back. I've used my pins to pin them. And I did the same for the um, skirts part of the dress as well, which I'm going to show you now. I'm going to join the shoulder by half an inch. That was the allowance I gave to it. This is the skirt part of the bodies. Like I said, I've pinned the front to the back. So what I'm going to do next is measure the bust. I have 20 right there, yes. And my bust is 34 divided by 2, which is 17. So I'm going to subtract 17 from 20, giving us 3 inches and divided by 2. So we're going to have one and a half on each side of the bodice. I hope that explanation is clear. If it's not clear, I'm going to explain that for the under bust and my um, waist. So I measure the length of my waist so I get the accurate measurement on the side. That's 14. And I make sure I mark it down. So there are no errors in the joining. What I'm doing now is going to help give the um, up, upper part of the body's fit. So it fits to exactly my measurements. So my under bust, under my bust is about 18 and my full round measurement is 28, 28 divided by 2 is give us 14. So 18 minus 14 gives us 4 inches, I'm going to divide that into 2 so I mark 2 inches on each side of my bodice and I go ahead to do the same thing for my um, waist which is 48, 28 divided by 2 14 and I have 17 so once you do the subtraction you mark and then you join those um, markings with a line you can see I'm having sort of like a curve and then I'm going to do the same for the skirt part of the bodies the waist the hips and then now I'm joining I'm sewing on that particular line. So it's quite easy. Now I'm all done with both skirt and um Bo uh, the body part so I'm going to fold the front part of my body in two and notch the center I'll do that for both the bodies and the skirt the reason I'm doing this is to make sure that when I'm joining the dart portion is aligned properly that is the essence I'm going to notch for the skirt part as well I'm repeating myself again I'm going to notch for the skirt parts and the joining allowance I gave for both skirt and bodies is half inch so I make sure the notches are aligned that's exactly what I'm doing here can see so I join by half inch and I start the sewing from that center I don't start from the end I start from the center to the end so after sewing I'm going I'll, I'll go ahead and um, use my bias instead of folding the neck of my fabric I use my bias to turn the neckline so you can see that um, it is folded. So on that line, I'm just going to I'm just going to use that line as my guide, that folded part, which is about a quarter of an inch, and so round my neckline. Now I'm already done sewing, so I'm going to fold the um, bias inwards. 
Now instead of sewing on this line, I'll rather make it a little bit thinner. Now but what bias does is to make um, the sewing a little bit flat, it's not very thick and my fabric is quite thick so it's really, it, it, the bias gives it a better lay around the neckline. I'm going to sew it, fold it in and sew. So I'm all done now. As you can see, it's all nice and flat. And I like it that way. So over to my zipper. I'm going to use the invisible zip. So I'm going to change my presser foot to a zipper foot. Using a zipper foot actually helps um, sewing your zip in your dress a little bit. In fact, not even a little bit, very, very easy. And since it's an invisible zip, I need to sew closer to the zipper tit. I didn't get that the first time, but I made sure to you know, correct that. So my zip allowance is um, one and a half inches. As of right now, my body is joined to the skirt part, so that's why, of course, I'm attaching the zipper because the zipper is going to run from the body into the skirt part. So I mark one and a half inches. And I go straight down all the way as you can see that's the front part the back portion is where the zipper sits will be showing so I go ahead and place that the front part on the front part of the bodies the sewing of the zip invisible zip begins this is basically how i sew uh, most of my zips i use this method for me it actually gives it a neat look whether it's the invisible zip or is the normal zipper I do the same for the other side as well. Mark one and a half inches and sew along that line and into the body. So I'm all done. Like I said, it wasn't really close to the teeth, so I'm going to correct that and make sure I sew close to the teeth of the zip. So I'm all done now from the end of the zipper line of the zipper rather. I'm joining the back portion of the bodies of the skirts. Sorry, I'm joining the back portion of the skirts, and I sew it a little bit inwards towards my knee portion to get that um, fishtail style. So over to my sleeve, this is my sleeve pattern and I'm trying to do something like a cold shoulder so I get my pins and pin the pattern to the fabric on fold. So 
right now I'm doing the cutting of my sleeve pattern since I don't want a full sleeve I'm going to go ahead now take out my pins this is how the sleeve should look like but that's not what I want so I'm going to more or less like draw a slant line and then cut the upper portion of the sleeve out I use that I use the first part that I have cut to cut the other sleeve make sure I adjust properly and then cut it out so I'm going to fold it in and sew top of my sleeve join it by the allowance and then also fold the bottom of the sleeve as well so this is how I joined it to um, the arm sky the arm hole by about two inches yes on both sides two inches and then I attached four to the neckline. So this is how it looks. This is how my sleeve looks. That's the bottom of the sleeve. That's the inner portion by half um, inch allowance. So I'm going to show you how the whole dress looks. So I stoned it in another video I'll be showing you how I um, stoned how I stone my fabric so this is the whole dress hope you guys like it if you want to try it let me know let me see pictures or rather let me know when you're done so thank you for watching Bye.